This series of videos is going to go over our routing router basics lab where we're going to do the initial config on our routers for the first time this semester. Uh, and then look at some routing uh, related information. So first off, we're going to start out uh, by solving a little subnetting problem to figure out what IP addresses we're going to use on our network. Uh, I have a table I will give you guys that has this list of locations, IP addresses, and the subnet to use for your LANs. So location is based on your room and wh which PCs you're si sitting at. Um, the IP address uh, that you have, that is going to be the IP address that you're going to put on whatever is at the outside of your, of your network that's going to connect to my network. What does that mean? Well, in this case, we're going to put this ISR4321 connected into my network so that IP address will go uh, out here on that router interface. The other information here is the subnet you're going to use for your LANs. So we're going to need to create three subnets, one for this uh, PC, one for this PC, and one for the network between the routers uh, when we get the second router in there. So I've given some requirements for the two networks we're going to create. We're going to create a network with uh, 30 hosts and 14 hosts. So I will uh, go ahead and do that over here. We'll do 30, 30 hosts on this network. So my network is 10.243.133.0 slash 24. I have that to work in. To create a subnet for 30 usable hosts, I need to make it a 27. My other subnet 10.243.133. This network goes from dot zero to dot 31. So I can start my next network at dot 32. And for 14 usable hosts, we need a slash 28. And then I'm going to need a network between the routers. So I'll go ahead and put that in the next spot. I can have a network start. So this, this uh, network with this size consumes 16 IP addresses. So 32 plus 16 is 48. So I can put that network there and a 30-bit mask gives me two usable addresses. So those are the IPs I'm going to use, uh, the subnets I'm going to use. And then up here on the outside connection, my IP was 192.168.243.133.24. That's what I need to put on there. How do I know that? Because that's what it says in the table. 192.168.243.133. So those are the IPs we need to set on our stuff. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to configure um, the LAN side of things uh, on the 2811 using two different router interfaces. So we'll go ahead and connect things, how we're going to connect them. I'm going to connect 00 to uh, 01 on the switch. I'm going to connect this PC to port 2 on the switch. I'm going to connect 0, 1 to port uh, 8 on the switch, and I'll connect the PC to port 9 on the switch. And we're going to use two different VLANs on the switch to, to segment the traffic. So we'll go ahead and create those VLANs and configure the, uh, the switch to be, ports to be in those VLANs. So we want to do uh, ports 1 and 2. We're going to put those in VLAN 200. In other classes, you might have actually created the VLAN first, but if you notice, if you assign a, a port to a VLAN, uh, it will create it for you. And then I'm also going to turn on port fast. Uh, port fast causes our ports to come up immediately instead of waiting uh, for spanning tree to finish. And now I'm going to put the uh, other two ports that I used, which was 8 and 9, I believe into VLAN 201. And I'm also going to turn port fast on for those ports. So if I look at my VLAN database, I can see that I have VLAN 200, VLAN 201, uh, ports 1 and 2, ports 8 and 9. So that's the configuration we're doing on the switch for right now. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and configure our router interfaces for basic connectivity. So I'm going to configure FA00 I'm going to give it an IP address uh, in this subnet right there. My instructions said for you guys to give it the first usable address, and it will need the 27-bit mask. And I typed that wrong. 
And then we need to do no shutdown. If you notice, hopefully you remember our interfaces are shut down by default on the router. They're red, so we do no shutdown. The interface will come up. We're gonna do the same thing, similar thing on FA01. Give it an IP address for FA01. This is my subnet 10.243.133.32. The subnet's dot 32, so the first usable address will be dot 33, and we need to put the subnet mask for a slash 28, which is 240, and we need to do no shutdown. No shutdown. All right, so that's our basic uh, configuration on the router for those two subnets. We give our PCs IP addresses. I said to use the next available. IP in your subnet, so this in this case that is uh, dot two. Set the appropriate mask, and then set the gateway to the router interface for that subnet. We don't have a DNS server yet, so don't worry about that. And this one will be the next available IP in the VLAN 201 subnet, which is going to be 10.243.133. The gateway was 33, so it's going to be 34 for the next available subnet, and then 255, 255, 255, 240 is the subnet mask, and the gateway for this subnet is the router interface that we configured with uh, 233. So I believe that is the basic IP connectivity to get this set up and working. I'm going to go ahead and try to ping. I know you guys probably can't read this, but I'll tell you if it works or not. I don't know how to make this font bigger. If anybody knows how to do that, please tell me. So I'm going to ping from uh, 10.243.133.33, which is PC1, to dot .2, which is the other PC. And there we go. We see we get our reply. So our basic IP connectivity is functioning as expected. So this part of the lab, you're going to go ahead and uh, run some pings and trace some traffic, look at traffic in Wireshark. And, and the things we're looking at are the MAC addresses. Uh, in the frames and the destination IP addresses so we can further enhance our knowledge uh, from last week for how that stuff works. So that is, uh, that is part of the very beginning of the lab.